Chapter 20 It was Harry Crocker, for goodness sake. Although Lily did not know him personally, his name was often mentioned in her friends' conversations. It was said that Harry was a well-known figure in Donghai City. He was young, courageous, and especially ruthless. Most importantly, Samson was the man behind him. Samson was the owner of Moonlit River Bar, the most luxurious bar in Donghai City. Lily could see Harry's fierce face as he held the machete. If he managed to get to Daryl, the latter would at least be half crippled, if not dead. Hurry up and leave! Lily was getting extremely anxious. She got up from her seat and was about to go over and pull Daryl, but was stopped by those around her. Lily could not even comprehend her thought process. While it was true that she looked down on Daryl, she nevertheless felt uncomfortable when she saw that Daryl was about to be beaten up. Those around her did not share the same views. They were more excited to see Daryl being beaten up to a pulp. It was especially so for Ashton, who immediately grabbed Lily. What are you doing with this loser, Lilybud? He doesn't know where he stands, but has the balls to provoke William? He deserves to be beaten up. Harry raised his machete and dashed into the villa. Rest assured, William. Harry spitted out the cigarette butt in his mouth as he said, I'm curious to see which fool grew the balls to threaten my bro. That person is as good as dead today. William nodded heavily and walked arrogantly toward Daryl. He felt good in his heart because he had such a good reputation and could ask Harry to come over. In reality, he had only met Harry once by chance. Once, William was on the road when he got into a fight with another driver. As a result, they both agreed to take the fight somewhere, and the driver had called Harry. That time, Harry almost beat William to death. William was afraid of him, so he tried his best to make friends with Harry. He found out that Harry liked to gamble and often lost tons of money. William, therefore, lent Harry a sum of money each month. Though the term was lend, Harry never paid back. William had no intention of asking him to pay back either. It did not hurt to give the man some cash every month, and his help could be sought too should William ever need it. No one had dared to mess with William after he got to know Harry. Harry's reputation reached far and wide throughout Donghai City, and no one among the younger generation dared vie with him for it. Harry was only ten meters away from Daryl when the two of them exchanged glances. Unfortunately, Harry was a short-sighted kid and had yet to recognize Daryl despite squinting his eyes. Still full of aggression, he raised his knife and quickly rushed to Daryl's side. Run! Run! Lily shouted, but there were people all around her. Lily closed her eyes. She could already envision Daryl falling into a pool of blood. However, she had never expected Harry to stop dead in his tracks just as he was about to sink his knife into Daryl. Daryl looked at him with a smile. Their distance was only about half a meter at that time. William suddenly felt anxious after seeing Harry frozen his tracks. Mr. Harry, this is the idiot I was talking about, William roared. It's him, brother Harry. Make him kneel. William wailed, his eyes red with rage. You... is this the guy you want to beat up? Harry finally reacted and asked William. Yes, it's him! William nodded his head repeatedly. Everyone in the Linden family was giving their full attention, eager to see how the drama unfolding. Grandmother Linden walked over and said, William, don't overdo it. Don't injure him severely. Don't injure him severely? William sneered. Daryl had slapped him in front of the entire family. If he did not avenge himself, how could he have the dignity to face the family in the future? Okay, don't worry, Granny. I'll just hit him and make him kneel. William snickered with a smile. It was then that Harry managed to catch a clear glimpse of Daryl and was shocked so much that he nearly peed his pants. Harry's cold sweat began trickling down. 
His godfather had to address Daryl as second young master wherever they went. The person you want me to beat up is him? Harry confirmed again and asked incredulously. Yes, it's him! William yelled. The sight of Harry's inaction made William's blood boil, prompting the latter to try punching Daryl immediately. He was just about to deliver that punch when, in a surprising turn, he saw Harry roared strangely and grabbed him by his hair. Slap! Without warning, Harry slapped William hard in the face. The slap was so strong that blood began dripping down from William's cheek. William covered his cheek in bewilderment. Mr. Harry, I, what did I do wrong? Aside from William, everyone else was equally dumbfounded. What was going on? Harry was supposed to be on good terms with William, right? You little bastard! Are you trying to get me killed? Harry's anger grew. He slapped William a second time, knocked him onto the ground, and began kicking him. Master Harry, what are you doing? William was in grief as he rolled all over the ground in pain. Nobody from the Linden family dared to stop him. Grandmother Linden could not bear it any more and waved to several young men from the family. The young men walked over timidly and worked up the courage to yell, s s stop Get the fuck away! Harry was very furious. He held a knife in his hand and pointed toward the men. I'll get rid of anyone who's stopping me today. Those words left everyone dumbfounded. No one would dare to fight Harry. Hit him! I'll bear responsibility if something goes wrong. Harry shouted to his goons behind him. A group of people then surrounded William and began kicking. Mr. Darrell? At that moment, Harry eked out a flattering smile and walked humbly to Daryl. Don't worry, Mr. Darrell. This bastard had the balls to go against you, right? I'll kill him today. What? Everyone's mind went blank after hearing that. What in the name of God was going on? Why would Harry be so respectful to Daryl? The respect he showed was like a son seeing his father. How could it be possible that a loser like him would be so formidable? Lily was stupefied as well. Her initial feeling of anxiety had turned into shock. Complete, utter shock. Mr. Darrell, I really didn't know it was you. Otherwise, I wouldn't have dared to come, even if I was beaten to death. Seeing that Darrell did not say anything, Harry's complexion was pale with fright. Harry continued, Mr. Darrell, I'm begging you. Please don't get angry. I'm begging you. I really didn't know it was you. All right, all right. Darrell waved his hand impatiently. He felt uneasy at first, but after hearing Harry's blabbing, he found it annoying and turned to leave. It was over. Harry's heart dropped. Darrell was not angry at him, was he? Beat him to his death! Harry ordered angrily. The Linden family exchanged glances with each other, and no one dared to stop them. After beating William to the verge of meeting his maker, they finally stopped. William's nose and face were swollen. He was crying. Brother Harry, why on earth did you hit me? Harry's arms were akimbo, and he kicked William irritably once more. Why did I hit you? Don't you fucking know how great Mr. Darrell is? How great could he be? He's the live-in son-in-law of our Linden family. William felt distressed, considering how the person he had asked for help had beat him to a pulp instead. That aside, the truth was still up in the air. Live-in son-in-law? Harry sneered. He was just about to mention that Daryl was the Darby family's second young master when he remembered his godfather mentioned before that Daryl had already left the Darby family. Therefore, he did not have any exact knowledge of Daryl's current status. Harry rolled his eyes and said to William, 
In that case, you better fucking remember this. If you ever dare to act like you're all that in front of Mr. Daryl again, I'll kill you. Let's go. Harry waved his hand and left rowdily with his group of people. William, are you okay? It was not until then that everyone dared to go over and surround William. William felt miserable. The entire incident was such a shame. Granny, Wayne's here, the boss of Oriental Pearl, a voice informed, causing everyone to look at the door. Five Rolls-Royce cars were parked there, and out came a middle-aged man from the front passenger seat of the first car. He walked with the help of a walking stick and was dressed in a tunic suit. It was Wayne. The Linden family's old lady is so famed that she even invited Mr. Wayne here. Yeah. A group of guests chatted among themselves. After all, Wayne was an important figure in Donghai City. He was worth billions and had never attended anybody's birthday party before. It was downright surprising that he would be invited by the old lady that day. President Woodall! Grandmother Lyndon was similarly confused. She had no idea what was going on and why Wayne was here, as she had not invited him. Excuse me, Madam Lyndon, is Mr. Darby here? Wayne asked with a smile. Ten or so men dressed in black followed him as they walked toward the villa. Mr. Darby? The old lady shook her head. I don't know such a person. Does anybody know him? Everyone looked blank. Who was Mr. Darby? There was only one person with the Darby surname, and that was Daryl. But it was certain that the loser would never pop into their minds first.